Hey guys, um, I'm sure everybody has heard about the Colorado shooting um, at the uh, movie theater for the midnight screening of The Dark Knight Rises and it's been all over the news pretty much needless to say uh, first off my condolences to the families who have lost their loved ones in the shootout um, I wish everybody who is injured and currently in the hospital um, recovering it's very very speedy recovery and best of luck to you guys um, <clears throat> having trying to put your lives back together and um, I'm sorry this had to happen when a midnight screen is supposed to be a fun night for some you know and especially for Batman fans and it's just very unspeakable <clears throat> excuse me um, it's very horrific and the fact that this has to happen on a night when everybody will be talking about the Dark Knight Rises getting all hyped up, putting up their rants and mix, mixed emotions about this, that, that, or whatever the case may be it had to, it had to end in violence I'm sorry this had to happen um, now it makes me wonder uh, about Otakon. I mean, I'm still going. It's just now it's more about the safety because earlier in the news they mentioned about it, more AMC rather. They are saying that no one is allowed inside with costumes or even uh, fake weaponry. Even it, I don't know if it applies to guns that have a little orange tip on the thing. I'm not too sure about that, but I guess even if the um, airsoft guns have a orange safety tip on it they wouldn't be allowed in either so um, so especially now you know so um, and nothing hiding your face or anything like that so in a way I understand because it's a security measure um, but now it's um, the question of whether cosplayers whether they go to the movie theater still in their cosplay costumes and if so they will have to comply to going in to watch the movie of their choice especially The Dark Knight Rises um, in regular casual clothing rather than going inside as a co in their cosplays um, not to say that it's not fair but you need to understand that um, it's a real it a simple costume or you you know can trick anybody even a lot of the witnesses there have been interviews saying that um they all thought that this shooter was being like part of a stun or pulling some kind of nasty prank at them or whatever they thought that they didn't they didn't think anything was gonna i didn't they didn't think anything bad was gonna happen until they actually started shooting at people so it just goes back to that concept of looks can be deceiving it really it, it, it really can be deceiving so I, I it makes me feel bad um, but again it's a security measure now especially with the aftermath of the shooting at uh, Colorado so and um, in a way it just kind of makes me glad I don't go out to movies frequently enough like not that I hate watching movies I I just tend to be picky it's like me reading the book like if it does if I feel that it doesn't have a good storyline I'm not gonna watch it but if people like tell me otherwise like their honest opinion and how what how they liked it and everything it's like maybe I'll give it a shot and um Lo and behold, it's been proving me correct. Like, um, old friend of mine, she thought I would like The Hunger Games. I said, okay, I'll think about it. Then they got all the hype, and plus with the movie coming out, I said, okay, well, since I'm going to Thailand, I'm going to be out for three weeks. I want to keep myself busy. So, I bought the box set of The Hunger Games trilogy, and 
on the flight coming back to New York, I was done with all three books and she was right. So I have no idea if you're going to watch this, but thank you for that recommendation because you're proving me right. I do love that. The Hunger Games trilogy. I do love it. And I also like the movie in its own right. Um, anything else? I don't remember. Um, but it's just now like a security concern for movie theaters especially. Um, especially now and then next weekend is Otakon and I know there are going to be people running around as Harley Quinn or Poison Ivy, Joker, Batman, Robin, Batgirl, you name it. Especially around, revolving around this particular movie. AMC at least, I'm not sure about any other movie theater um, company, but for right now AMC, uh, they're saying that no one is allowed in the movie theater if they're going to be in costume. They're not allowed in it. No weaponry, even if it's fake. No, none of that. So it's pretty much saying either come in here to watch a movie with casual clothing or you get barred. Um, again, I don't know how it works, especially now, but that's just from what the latest news have said. So, any changes that happen after this video gets posted, um, that will apply then and they will override what I'm saying now. So, um, so yeah, again, to all the families who have been infected uh, by the shooting, whether you have lost a loved one or you have someone in the hospital but recovering, um, my condolences to you and I hope that um, things will get better for you guys. Um, and that's it. So, uh, I guess the only thing I really need to say is the just to be careful, especially at Otakon, guys. If you guys are going to Otakon, you plan on going and watching a movie, especially The Dark Knight Rises, I think it's better to, at least for AMC, it's better to comply with their new policy that they just announced today. So, rather than get barred just because you wanted to go in the cosplay and whatnot. So, I, I'd rather go by protocol than to you know, possibly scare more people, you know, into thinking there may be another shootout, um, and whatnot, so, uh, with that said, um, take care of each other, and, um, that's it, just take care of each other, um, tell everybody that you have in your life right now, how much you love them, and no matter what, you're there for them through everything. That's it. So, um, that's all I can really say. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry. Um, this is the news have been overwhelming. So, uh, with that said, take care of each other. Again, tell everybody that you have in your life right now how much you love them, how much you're going to be there for them no matter what, through thick and thin. And that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.